Hey everyone, it's Wendy. I am making a barbecue chicken salad for dinner tonight. Although, this is supposed to be a chopped salad. However, instead of taking out chicken cutlets, I had taken out some chicken thighs, uh, drumsticks rather. So, we're having the chicken on the side, but I'm going to show you how to make this anyway. Hi Sharon, thanks for joining me. Okay, so I'm using the multi-pot. I will show you the pot in a second. I have water boiling on the stove. This is the silicone steamer strainer. I am in love with this product. So this fits right inside the multi-pot and it has three different levels that you can use it at. This, you can use it like this and just put your vegetables or whatever you're steaming right here. I am going to use it popped open halfway because I have a lot of vegetables to put in here and I don't want them to fall out but you can also open this all the way and then you can cook pasta in here and all you have to do instead of getting the strainer dumping the water in the sink you just pick this up and strain your pasta so just such a cool innovative product absolutely love it so let's go back to midway all of my vegetables are frozen. I didn't have any of these fresh. This is frozen zucchini. I get that in a block. Hopefully that will cook okay. I have some frozen green beans. We're gonna add those. And I have frozen corn. And we're going to steam all of this right in the pot. Um, I also love this pot with chicken stock because you can put your bones, your vegetables, whatever you're using to make your stock and you just put it right in here the water's in the pot and when you're done you don't have to go fishing out all the bones and fat blobs and all of that so your vegetable pieces they're all still sitting right here in the strainer just such a huge huge time savings so let's come over here so that you can see the pot so here's my multi pot and check this out, this is so cool. This is a nine quart stock pot. And when you pick up the lid and it's dripping all that water, do you see that? The lid actually sits in the side of the pot and the water is dripping back into the pot, which is just the coolest thing because then you don't have to look for a spot. Sorry, my um, stand is wobbling here. You don't have to look for a spot to for the water to go. And I'm just going to put this here. Lid goes on top, put that back in. And my vegetables are just going to steam right in there. You can cook your chicken either in your grill pan or your air fryer, um, or you could cook it on the grill or in the oven, wherever you want. Mine is actually cooking uh, in the air fryer right now. So I had just put some seasoning on it and um, once I'm ready to serve the salad, I'm just gonna brush it with a little barbecue sauce. I'll pop it back in the air fryer for about three minutes just so the barbecue sauce heats up and it cooks on the outside. And then uh, the chicken will be all done and we'll have that right on the side. So I'm going to just slice some fresh tomatoes. Um, the recipe also includes edamame, which I don't keep in the house. But if you do and you like edamame, then that would also go in the steamer strainer. And these are supposed to be cherry tomatoes. We're gonna go with plums. So again, this was a uh, spur of the moment. I was not, I did not work this recipe into my meal prepping rotation. So let me just slice these tomatoes up. I'm gonna put that on the side and let's make the dressing. Okay. So this is kind of a ranch dressing. I have a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. This is buttermilk, so we're just going to add this and I'm going to whisk this up. So if you watched me yesterday, I used a little mini whisk yesterday and it is still in the dishwasher. So I'm going to use my little spiral whisk instead and we will mix this up. Get that nice and creamy. 
All right. And then to that, I am going to add a garlic clove. So here's my clove with the, see the peel is still on. It's falling over my countertop. I'm just gonna put that in. We're gonna press that. This also includes chives. Again, no chives in this house. So I just thinly slice some onion. I'll just toss that with the rest of the salad. It's a much stronger flavor. So if you don't like that kind of flavor, you could always put the onions in the multi-pot also. All right, so there's my garlic. And we're going to add half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm using the seasoning salt. This has all kinds of other stuff in here too. I love the extra flavors. And you can also add a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to actually add the smoky barbecue. Sorry, now you can see it. The smoky barbecue seasoning that's on my chicken. And we're going to add this in. I'll whisk all that up. I did already tear up and wash my lettuce. You could of course use your salad choppers if you want to. So here's my lettuce. And this is the acacia wood salad bowl, which I'm absolutely in love with, this salad bowl. And then from there, here's my, um, my onion slices that I had talked about, and we'll throw the tomato in here. And we're gonna go take a peek and see what my veggies are doing. So I'm gonna come on over and take a look in the pot. like I can uh, separate the need a little spoon here and we'll separate that zucchini so that it cooks a little bit better still kind of frozen so when these are done and I'm gonna let these go a little bit longer um, when this is finished then you just blanch the vegetables just put them in a bowl filled with ice water and that will stop them from cooking so that your beans stay crisp tender instead of being soggy. And you don't want to wilt your lettuce and everything else either. So I'll take a picture when this is all done. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. If you have any questions about the products or if you would like the recipe, let me know. I'm happy to post it. And have a great night. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.